Hi, Amit Sharma. Welcome you all to my channel Mathematical Coaching Center. In today's class, we'll do physical quantities and measurement. By the end of this video, you'll be learning what does physical quantity and measurement means, definition of density, SI and CJS unit of density, and how to find the density of an irregular object by using measuring cylinder. At last, we'll solve some important numerical problem. So without further delay, let's start today's class. Hello students, so in, in today's class, we'll do physical quantities and measurement. So what does this physical quantity means? A physical quantity is a quantity which can be measured. So whatever you can measure is called as a physical quantity. So anything what you can measure is called as a physical quantity. You, you can see here, for example, we have length of a stick. So length is my physical quantity because you can measure the length. Similarly, you can see in this figure what you have water. Can you measure the volume of this water? Yes, that means volume is also a physical quantity. Similarly, you can see here we have a stick. Yeah, so you can measure the length. You can measure the diameter. So all this whatever you can measure is called as a physical quantity. You can measure your height. That means it's your height is also a physical quantity quantity now what you have next is your measurement so what does this measurement means the action of measuring something is called as measurement suppose you are measuring your copy length so what you'll do you'll take the ruler and you'll measure your copy that means what you are doing you are doing some action so that action is only called as measurement similarly we have here measuring tape yeah so measuring tape also helps us to measure the length so similarly what you are doing the action that action is called as measurement similarly you have here thermometer the doctor and nurses they use this to measure your body normal temperature your body temperature so what they are doing they are doing some action so that action is called as measurement so you can see here the red mark is there yeah? in the red mark what is written there 37 degrees celsius so what is this 37 means your body normal temperature if it will be more than this then you'll have fever if it will be less than this then you'll have cough and cold now let's see in your syllabus mainly it's your density you have to study about the density so why we are studying about density is that what they have taken was same volume of same volume of iron cotton and the hood so you know that which one is heavy iron is heavy this was just because of density so what is this density means so density is nothing it's mass per unit volume so mass divided by volume is called as density so you can see here density is this symbol is called as rho this symbol is called as rho and here is mass divided by volume okay so density is mass upon volume is your density so simple you can see density this symbol is density is represented by this rho mass is represented by m and volume is represented by v and you can see here what you have density rho equals to m equals to m upon v so rho is my density and rho is my density and m is my mass and v is my volume so now we have to know this very important this si and cgs unit of density so always in cgs the first letter represents l the second letter represents mass and the third letter represents time so c stands for length means it's your centimeter g mass means it is, it is your gram and s is your time means it's your second so si system means it's your system international so let's see here so everyone you know now density is mass upon volume so mass divided by volume is your density now you can see what is your si unit so mass is your kg volume is your meter cube so what will be unit so what will be unit kg per meter cube okay so just you have to remember this formula only from there you can write the unit so m is your mass mass is obviously it's your kg and volume is your meter cube similarly can you say me cgs so mass will be gram and your volume volume will be a centimeter cube so you can see a gram per centimeter cube that is my cgs unit of now we'll do determination of density of a solid by using the measuring cylinder so as you know that density formula is mass upon volume so first we have to find the mass then after that we have to find the volume then we'll put the value in this then after that we'll get the density of that object so you can see here we have the measuring cylinder 
so there is solid object is there so you can see the initial the water is at 150 so when i'll dip this object what happened is that the water level has been raised and it has reached to 150 60 70 80 so the water level is 180 now we'll measure this mass of this object by using the you can see here this is our physical balance okay so by using this physical balance we'll measure the mass of this object suppose the you got the mass is 120 gram and the volume will be how much it will be just now we got how much 180 180 minus 180 minus 150 so 180 minus 150 how much it will be 30 centimeter cube now we'll put the value so how much we got 120 upon 30 so 0 0 will get cancelled 3 1 are 3 3 4 are 12 so 4 gram per centimeter cube so this is my density of this solid so this way we'll find the density of the solid object first we have to find the measure mass with the physical balance after that volume with the measuring cylinder now you can see we have another measuring of density of irregular solid by using the eureka can now by using eureka can how we will measure so as you know that density is mass upon volume so first we will measure the mass with the help of physical balance after that you can see this is your eureka can so first we'll fill the water so when i when we'll dip this object irregular or solid in this what happens is that the water gets overflow and it gets collected in the in the measuring cylinder so whatever will be this this will be our volume and simple we know that formula density equals to mass upon volume simple we'll put the value of the mass and the volume and we'll get the density of this irregular solid now let's solve some numerical problem now let's solve some numerical problem so our first question we can see here what is given is that a piece of lead which 232 gram and has a volume of 20 centimeter cube find the density of lead okay so what they had given always whenever you do the numerical problem always you will write solution and you'll write the given so what they had given is that you can see here weight so weight is nothing it's a mass of the lead so m is given how much they had given 232 gram okay so now what they had given next is that you can see that they had given us volume so volume of the lead so volume is given how much 20 centimeter cube now what you have to find is that density of lead so as you know that the formula for density of lead is what is the formula mass upon volume so what i got mass 232 gram and volume is almost 20 centimeter cube now what i have to do i have to do the cancellation so you can do in rough of 232 divided by 20 so it will get cancelled by 2 2 10s are 20 2 1s are 2 then 2 1s are 2 2 6s are 12 yeah now you can see how much i got 1 1 6 upon 10 as you know that rule when i'll cancel 0 the point will jump inside yeah you know this rule so when i'll cancel zero so point is jumping inside so what i got 11.6 so what are the unit unit also you have right centimeter cube so this carries three marks if you'll not write this unit you'll get only two marks so this is my answer so here we have another question you can see all five liter of alcohol so liter means it's your volume has a mass of four kg so the mass is 4 kg calculate the density of alcohol in gram per centimeter cube so gram per centimeter cube is your cgs unit and kg per meter cube is your si unit so already i have told you how to solve first we'll write solution so what they are given given mass of alcohol so mass of alcohol is m equals to how much they are given 4 kg so since our first answer we have find in gram so that's why i am changed in gram so as you know 1 kg equals to how much gram is that 1000 gram so i am multiplying with 1000 okay so i got 4 into 1000 equals to 4000 gram next what they are given liter so volume is given so volume of alcohol v is equal to 5 liter so similarly in this also 1 liter equals to you have to know this 1 liter equals to 1000 centimeter cube so that means what i what i have done here i have multiplied by 1000 centimeter cube so what i'll get i'll get 5000 centimeter cube now what i have to find you can see we have find the density so density formula is so density of alcohol d is equal to mass upon volume so how much do we have mass 4000 and how much do we have volume 5000 
okay so what can i do now this zero zero will get cancelled this zero zero will get cancelled this zero zero will get cancelled now how much i got four upon five so now let's do the rough work division five divided by four so five divided by four is so it will not go so i have to put point so it will come zero five eight is a forty so how much i got zero point eight so our answer is zero point eight so you can add zero so the unit always you add right gram per centimeter cube so i got the answer first answer now what they had asked us in second is that kg per meter cube so whenever you have to change in cgs this cgs unit to si unit always you have to multiply by thousand so now see density in kg per meter cube always remember that from cgs to si unit if you go you have just you have to multiply by 1000 into 0 0.8 so what is the unit you can see what will be the unit in si unit kg per meter cube now when i'll do multiplication so how much i'll get as you know the multiply so how much i have 1000 into 0 0.8 can i write like this 8 upon 10 yeah when i'll remove point one point so that means how many zeros will come one zeros so zero zero will cancel so eight into hundred how much i got eight hundred so how much i got eight hundred kg per meter cube okay so what you have to do note note what is note note what you have note that whenever you'll go cgs unit to si unit what you have to do just you have to multiply by thousand okay whenever you go from cgs to si that means you can write si unit equals to cgs into thousand okay simple you can do this now let's solve another question so in this question what you can see is a piece of food of mass so mass they had given us 150 gram and volume is also there 200 centimeter cube so find the density of food in cgs system so as you know cgs means centimeter gram second okay so the unit is gram per centimeter cube and si is your kg per meter cube so already i have told you first we will find this to make it in si system just we have to multiply by thousand yeah so let's start given we had right so mass of the wood m is how much they had given 150 gram now what they had given us volume is here so volume of food is v equals to 200 centimeter cube now what we know density what is the formula for density mass upon volume so therefore density of food in cgs system so why i am writing cgs system number a is your cgs system what is the formula mass upon volume so mass is how much 150 gram and volume is how much 200 centimeter cube now i have to what i have to do i have to do cancellation so zero zero will get cancelled so will it get cancelled by two no so five five threes are 15 five fours are 20 so how much i got three upon four so you can change into mixed fraction or decimal four three so point when you put zero so how much it will go seven fours are 28 yeah seven fours are 28 so how much i'll get here two so do, because of point zero will come two four fives are 20 so it get cancelled so how much i got 0 0.75 0 0.75 what is the unit gram per centimeter cube so gram per centimeter cube so i got the first answer and this question carries four marks okay now what you have to find you can see here density of food in si system so already i have told you just you have to multiply by thousand so thousand into what do you have to do cgs unit yeah cgs system so thousand into what is the value it's 0 0.75 but the unit will change into gram kg per meter cube now we can do this thousand into can i write 75 as 75 upon how many zeros will be there so you can see there how many zeros will be there one two that means two zeros will be coming yeah, now this 0 and 0 get cancelled this 0 0 will get cancelled so how much i'll get 750 kg per meter cube so here is your answer hope so you got it yeah so here we have one of the very important question 
So what they are given in this question is that calculate the volume. So we have to find the volume. And what they are given is that they are given us mass and they are given us density. Now you can see here the mass is given in kg. That means it's given in SI unit. But you can see here density. What they are given is gram per centimeter cube. That means they are given in CGS. That means this CGS I have to change in SI unit. So to change in SI unit I have to just multiply by thousand so now you can see here what they are given is that density density of food is 0 0.8 gram per centimeter cube this is your per centimeter cube okay so directly what can i do is that suppose gram per centimeter cube so instead of this this when it come up i think you have done in maths indices if i'll bring this up what will happen this gram per centimeter it will be minus three so it's gram per centimeter cube so already in before some i have told you that now we are changing in kg just you have to multiply by how much just you have to multiply by thousand now what i'll get here so 0 0.8 i can write as 8 upon 10 into how much is there thousand so kg per meter cube 0 0 get cancel so 8 into 100 how much i'll get 800 kg per meter cube now as we know that we have to find the volume but we know the formula for density so what is the formula for density hope so you are perfect with that density is equal to mass upon mass upon volume okay so density formula is mass upon volume but we have we are finding volume so just we are interchanging the place so volume will come up so volume equals to what will be mass upon density okay just you think that this is going up this is coming down so volume equals to mass upon density so how much they had given us mass mass is how much 600 how much 6000 kg okay so you can write here mass given mass is also given so mass is given how much 6000 kg so i can write here 6000 kg divided by just now we got the density see how much is that 800 kg per meter cube so now you can see why why we have changed this is that because to make the unit same now we got the same unit kg kg now this kg kg can get cancelled now kg kg get cancelled 0 0 get cancelled 0 0 get cancelled now how much we got 60 upon 8 so let's do in rough 60 upon 8 so it will get cancelled 2 3 are 0 2 zero are 0 2 4 are 8 now it will get cancelled by 2 2 are 2 1 5 so 2 and 15 so how much it will be 2 7 are 14 1.02 0 will come to 5 10 so how much i got 7.5 so therefore 7.5 now you can see meter negative is there so to make it positive it will go up so meter cube so this is my volume so therefore i got the volume of hood so you can write therefore volume of hood equals to how much i got 7.5 centimeter cube so this carries three marks okay and it's easy also this is very important because in this they had given us mass and density and we are finding the volume please like share and subscribe to our channel for more updates